what um, how critical this issue is well, I, I, I I was quite ignorant all along although we have these facilities that accommodate people who who experience that uh, behavior or attitude but only to realize that right in my village there was an issue there a dad uh, having sexual abuse with the daughter and then with the granddaughter and now the police has come and take him up to, to, to the police to deal with the case. So sometimes we can be very ignorant but the case is rising actually right at your doorstep. So that, what, that made me very very uh, surprised and uh, more sensitized now today to be very sensitive about such issues. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's a very critical because uh, since these issues are increasing, like mm -hmm. domestic violence, uh, child abuse, most of the victims are women and the mm -hmm. daughters, the granddaughters mm -hmm. in the community. Yes. And it happens to all dioceses, all the provinces. Yeah. Before it was maybe a one diocese, mm -hmm. like Isabel is commonly because they always reported the case, mm -hmm. and we always had a case from. Um, abuses like from Isabel most now mm. it happens to everywhere in the Solomon and that's a lot of issues are increasing but how to really solve or how to come and mm. um, attend or address this issue <coughs> is not really with us some mother children we still not really come into that uh, strong to participate is that we still and which ways and recently we just talked about it when we attend an um, invitation from um, governor's house from the lady mary suddenly we talk about this issue so that the church women's uh, coordinate to the desk women's desk in the church to make partnership with all other ngos and um, groups so that when these are uh, 16 days of activism and uh, what's the other we have to participate in and we advocate and do awareness a lot more mm -hmm. and also with uh, this um, child protection mm -hmm. policies or guidance whatever we have we really have to do training awareness down right to the communities for the women mm -hmm. women so we are looking to, to do that and to work with that uh, women in the church which is looking after the day mm -hmm. and mother children as a whole to really come in and deal with these issues because it's serious. Why do you think there is an increase? Mm. What are the factors that are mm. fueling these mm. behaviors mm. of violence against women and children? Mm. Well, for me, I think um, the first and the foremost is the use of these technology things, the mobile. Everybody now goes to the beach or goes to wherever things catch and you don't know what sort of uh, things that they watch. They, they, the young people and even the daddies, everybody home, they almost have a mobile. <clears throat> that's, a, that's, that's one thing, maybe not the first thing, but that's one of the things. Secondly, I think we, 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 we are kind of, uh, um, what, what, what is here? We sort of laxing or drawn by on the teachings on good behaviors at home. Uh, although the, the pastors, the priests, they do that, but I think there should be more at home, more at home. And uh, just imagine, and, and I'll take that further, like a child, even at kindy level, she's taken away from the parents. Yeah, go to school and we don't know what they teach them at school, it's supposed to be good things. And then it's even worse when they go to primary, they go to secondary and they lose all those connections with the parents only a little bit of time to do the, the right teaching. Because they have to go and board it? Eh? They have to go and board, but not kindy and not primary. Some primary schools, yes, they do that now, but half of the day or three quarters of the day they are out at school. And so they miss out a lot of teaching, training, manual, like teaching them how to gardening and all this sort of thing. Uh, it's a second priority now. But these are the things that are creeping in and uh, we, we really have to do a, a real good feasibility studies on this as to find out what <clears throat> really fuel, is fueling this all, all these things up. The other thing is, uh, I think it's the dress code. <clears throat> but our right to be who we are is very important. 
but you don't know the, 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 the minds of the men who are not well educated and who are not, you know, get used to this sort of thing. So when the girls, they comb the hair, not unlike before, they're just very untidy and, and they do all sorts of things. They come up with all of this, oh, she's beautiful. And, and then they just do anything they want with the girls. I, and I'm very sad about that. But that should not stop the girls to be who they are. Their identity is very important. And if that is a thought sort of thing going down to the, uh, the, to the rural level, well and good. That's a step up for us. So we're going to fight against this uh, violence, whatever way we can. Yeah. Do you want? <laughs> yeah, um, <clears throat> with this mother children um, ministry or mission of we find that some of the um, areas where uh, that has been in literally been interviewed. Yeah, recently I think our action and outreach coordinator went as far as to those uh, young people at the botanical garden. Okay. They mm -hmm. lived there for the rest of their life. They because. come into town, girls and boys. They come just to come and find food or uh, some of the, of the needs, and they go back there. They just live under the trees there, outside of the stream there. You mean they're homeless? Yeah, yeah. homeless ones. It's more like homeless. And <clears throat> one of the reasons they said is they are not recognized or loved by their parents, not supported. And they are feeling very low, and, and, and they feel that they are nothing to their homes. And that's back to the family, the parents again, where they come from. And that's the one of the things where Mother Shinon, with the object there, the teaching of children is very important, and it's related to positive parenting. We're mm -hmm. believing that parenting is lacking, like Pamela said, there is no, no people less time spending at home with their children mm -hmm. but they are socializing out of most of the time sometimes it's good but not every day that we just leave the children a house girl because mm -hmm. the house girls are different they don't mm -hmm. like a mother mm -hmm. yeah those are some um there are some of the things like culture some of us like <laughs> we have certain cultures here yeah? mm -hmm. most of our different mm -hmm. cultures say in solomon mm -hmm. and some of the cultures are now fading away mm -hmm. or losing yeah like Isabel, mothers should be there closely and the daughters should be very with mothers, teaching them how to dress, teaching how to behave in front of men and their um, relatives in the homes. But not those are, well, you, you will see the daughters or granddaughters, they live close or sleep, even sleep close with their grandfathers, <laughs> uncles or whoever. And those things, men start to change their behaviors and. In Isabel, this is very true. The grannies, grandfathers even, they abuse their granddaughters. Mm. And that's the thing that what happens here, then I really, um, I see that there's the culture is now uh, some have affecting this uh, uh, behavior happening now. That's like feeling, it changes happening there. And mm. not only the grandfathers, but the father of the mm. family, even abuse the daughters happening. Because the <coughs> closeness is not that. So before the culture, <coughs> some is really quite making mm -hmm. distance. Eh? The mother dominates all the um, the daughters have to teach this way. But now, daughters and they are more relaxed, open. They close interactions, which is good. But in some, there should be some boundaries there in the culture. Anyway, and um, I believe unemployment is one of the fueling part too. The community which I live now, I saw this that young boys are just roaming around without work uh, employed and they start abusing girls or women just because of uh, they threaten them up for money. Yeah, and uh, even the women too, or the girls, eh? mm. they're finding support on all these issues happening now. So we have girls there going to the boats mm. and many did look after this reaching out to these such girls in here that they are uh, affected because financial. They find it difficult just to live on for another day, so they have fine supportive content. And then men losing their families, going to these girls, all these sorts of things. Uneducated is also, so the life change is happening, also contributes a lot to the behaviors, uneducated. So mothers, you know, and really, 
one of the programs that to tackle these uh, issues with families because we really believe a child is from a home. A child is not coming out from stone or tree, but it's a home. So a father and mother should be a very good parenting, are doing a good parenting at home. So positive parenting. But what a difficult mother should not have, there is the funding to support this. Only the church is uh, assisting. But we have, just, we did this just a few days, it's just here, three, and one to all, and GOCM. We really need to, uh, to roll over this uh, positive parenting down to all the dioceses or provinces for all the women down not only for the mothers you know but for the women down to the communities so because these are increases now increasing